عندما قمنا بالتوجه الى مكان تفاجات بان البيت المستهدف هو بيت اخي اسماعيل عبد رب عاشور وهذا البيت ماهول بالسكان والنساء والاطفال وما يقارب حوالي 30 الى 40 شخص المبنى يتكون من حوالي 3 4 4 طوابق كلها عن بكره ابيه العديد من الجرحى من الشهداء والجرحى والاطفال والنساء ولا حتى هذه اللحظه جاري العمل على اخراج الاطفال ما يقارب حوالي 15 او الى 20 طفل يتم اخراجهم من تحت الانقاض وجميعهم 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 شهداء وحسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل ولا نقول الا ما يسعنا ربنا لما يملى علينا ربنا رب العزه والجلال انا لله وانا اليه راجعون واللهم اجرنا في مصيبتنا واخلفنا خيرا منها يا رب العالمين اللهم خذ من دمائنا حتى ترضى اللهم خذ من دمائنا حتى ترضى اللهم خذ من دمائنا حتى ترضى يا رب العالمين The 286 at the last count healthcare workers killed in Gaza, the repeated attacks on hospitals with over half of them put out of action, meaning that the gravely wounded, so the approximately thousand or more amputate, children with amputations, not able to get the treatment that they need from facilities, not able to have the healthcare workers who would normally treat them present. We are heeding the call of UNICEF lead, James Elder, who has said that this is immoral and will probably be shown to be illegal, and I'm quoting him. He says that those who have sway and remain silent are complicit. We are heeding the call of the Médecins Sans Frontières, who have broken neutrality since the 1st of November to say that a ceasefire must happen and that the repeated patterns of strikes against healthcare workers, some of which have been shown to be deliberate, against ambulances, some of which have been shown to be deliberate, and against hospitals. So we're talking about the bombing of hospitals, the depriving of hospitals, the besiegement of hospitals, the killing by sniper shot of patients and doctors within healthcare facilities. For example, three surgeons of the MSF uh, team shot within al the hospital in Gaza uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that was deliberate. A 14-year-old killed on the grounds of another MSF hospital in the West Bank, not in Gaza, uh, a few days back. So. The call comes out loud and clear from Amnesty International, from the Médecins Sans Frontières, from UNICEF, from the United Nations Special Rapporteur, from the World Health Organization, that this is not acceptable, that healthcare should never be a target and that healthcare should be available for all. As healthcare workers, we feel this strongly and we march for that reason. Everyone on this planet now knows what's happening. We are seeing uh, hospitals being attacked, children being killed, women being killed. And all of this situation is something is unsustainable. We can't just be silent and watch this at our homes where there are human beings and people being kicked, sleeping in the streets, don't have an access to the food, water, fuel, or even to the medical care. 
I have uh, some friends who are working as uh, medical doctors in Gaza and I'm still in contact with them. And what they are telling, the stories from Gaza coming out are shocking stories. We can't just hear those stories and not to say anything. We are here to say to anyone on this world who can stop this, please stop this. We can't just watch uh, people dying of hunger, of thirsty, of no access to medical uh, care and just being at our homes looking to this news. That's why we are here today. And that's the only and sole message that we want everyone to hear. Cease fire now. A health system destroyed within two months, along with schools, mosques, churches, and houses. Cease fire! standing here today in support with the health care workers uh, who died in Palestine uh, because of the atrocities and what is happening uh, over there. Uh, we are condemning all the killing of the civilians and also all of the medical care workers who are supported and like uh, under the uh, Human Rights Act. Nobody can uh, intervene and like do things to them but like no matter what like the hospitals are being bombed the doctors are being shot and like lots of uh, awful stuff is happening there uh, I can't get the words about what is happening over there it's her horrendous it's like genocide and it's mass killing and it's ethnic cleansing like they are uh, not distinguishing who they are killing and that's awful and we are not agreeing to anything that is happening over there uh, we are not happy about all these medical doctors who has their oath to help and support everybody to being killed and like targeted all over in palestine Julie McDonald, I'm um, uh, an anaesthetist from Aberdeen. Healthcare workers should never be a target. Healthcare workers should never go to work and have to fear for their lives and the lives of their patients because.